this is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES. Finally made it to World 4 here. World 3 took me a little longer than it probably should have. Although I did get a lot of extra lives stacked up. Okay, I guess this is the one that takes me to... That takes me to World Level 1 here. Wondering... I should use my hammer here. I think I will. It could cut me off from getting something else later on, but I might get another hammer also. Alright, that is, I believe, the Tanuki suit. I think that's what it's called. It's a little bit different than the... It's different than the, the leaf. Probably try to hang on to it for a little while. Because I think that's a pretty good one. Let's just see where this pipe takes me quickly before I go on. Okay, that's locked behind that fortress. one and yes this is giant world basically big world where everything is big except for Mario pretty sure I can jump on these clouds too yeah You can actually kind of swim up this. Yeah, there are some things that aren't big. Like you see some of these blocks are regular size. There we go. Oh, come on. Damn it, Brian. use one of these guys to get that block. I'm just going to keep going, though. Okay. I think this is just the end already. I don't remember this one being necessarily as tough as three. That could be for me, though, today. Who knows? But I do like it more anyway, just because it is different than what we normally see. Alright, let's try to do some more matching here. few options left, so hopefully next time I'll remember where some of those were. Oh, great. Not done with this BS yet. Too much fire. Well, that should hopefully get me through this level. Sucks to be small again. But at least we got another one in the bag. Amber bro moved. Have to go through the next level before we get to him. Okay, that's a good one. There's one that I won't feel inclined to hold on to. Yeah, those guys, when they jump up, if you're on the ground when they land, it basically freeze you. Done you? Yeah, I figured it was best to just get in here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, enough for an extra life. Yeah, I was hoping I could make that jump without having to use the turtle. Mushroom? Yeah, it was, but... <laughs> okay. Pretty sure this is going to be a big one, too. Alright, yeah. I'm actually going to go ahead and use my flower. I don't really like my chances of getting past these guys consistently otherwise. I think top or side gets you to the same spot. Yeah, they just walk off the edge. It's gonna be a flower or a leaf. Good. Instead of trying to go crazy and jump after it, I'll just wait for it to come to me. Okay, well. That was unfortunate. see if there's a power up in one of these. I think he'll, yeah, he'll just walk off the edge. Yeah, I was going to say, I think these bounce you up back. Gotta be a little bit careful there. Alright, but we're done again. How about a star? Yeah. Didn't quite get back up to 60 with that one since I wasted so many at the end of World 3. Alright, and we got the big fortress. I, was say, I don't remember if there's big stuff in here as well. But yeah, I think those those flames come out and walk after you. God damn it. I was kind of paying attention to the flames too much. Yeah, I guess they act like the ghosts and then lonely move. Yeah, they'll only move when your back's turned to him. That dead already? I think it is. Alright, easy peasy. That would just take me back to the beginning. But let's play the matching game. Try to. Or not matching, lineup, whatever you want to call it. I guess I consider the other one to be the memory game, and this is the lineup matching. Nope, a little too late or too early. Whatever you want to consider it. Uh oh. This underwater? Oh yeah. This guy's throwing them at us. I guess if I'm far enough down here, at least the lack of two won't be bothering me. Well, he's still dropping them anyway. Well, that sucked. Get in between there. Alright, I think that's basically it already, though. Yeah. Still big, at least. Yeah, I 
Hey, I don't know if it's just me. Anybody else hate water levels in Mario games? <laughs> That's why Water World is just completely the worst for me. Okay, it'll be another big guy, I'm pretty sure. Maybe he was going to move in position so I could take him out. Okay. Looks like this one only has... Six levels? I'm pretty sure we've done everything back this way already. And that's the castle over there. Started over that way anyway. Uh-oh. Yeah. Bugger. Yeah, I was gonna try to have him break that so I could try to get that block because I figured it'd probably be a mushroom. Probably wasn't worth it. Once again, should I try it? Yep, probably not. I've been getting pretty good at timing this jump over those guys. Okay. Yep. Ooh, it's a P-Wing. As I've been doing so far, though, probably not one that I'm going to use for a while, at least. I'll use that, though. Come on. Ah! Such a simple thing, and those seem to be the ones I F up the most. I can do some complicated stuff once in a while, but ask me to just make a simple... I don't know, I, I just hate the way this guy jumps, because it's like... Trying to time going over him is... Since he's on the way down, he has the high ground. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just keep going. At least the cannons aren't big. Surprised that one didn't shoot me in the face. This is just the right kind of annoying that I'm just going to blaze through it. If I don't, um, don't get far enough before this runs out. Okay, well, kind of stuck. Oh, that's, that's what the ones that are different colored like that do, I guess. Kind of hone in on you. At least you can still defeat him by jumping on him. Alright, I think that's it. Okay, yeah. Most of them are pretty pretty short and simple still. Go getting stars. Alright, let's try to remember this. Alright, we're gonna clear this completely. Yeah, too bad it doesn't let you start the next one since you cleared it. Might have been too late. Nope, oh, got it. Yep, too late on that one. I could go and do the fortress, but I want to do six anyway, so let's try this first. Yeah, I guess if anything showed up in there, I wouldn't be able to get it anyway. Um, 
this door here is actually going to allow you to go to a regular sized world, basically. But, I mean, we're in big world. I think I'd rather just keep it going with the big guys. You gonna walk off the edge? Okay, yep. Kinda thought so. Okay. Oh! Cutting it close. Ah! Try to get my star. No, nope, I'll sit up anyway. Well, that's all the regular levels for this world, it looks like. It's got the fortress and the castle. Okay, another tanuki suit. So then take enough of a run at it. Okay, and the bones walk off on their own. Ah! Yeah, if that guy wasn't there, I'd just keep running and go through it, but... Maybe I can kind of hold up on the platform before that, and once he's spawned in. And then I didn't jump. I tried to. that part. As long as they don't throw anything too tricky in here on me. Might be alright. Those guys gonna drop? Yep. Now, does that mean that the door's gonna appear here? Eh. I kinda thought that's what the coins meant. We are small. I think this is the boss area, though. Ah! I was a little too late getting up over in there. I'm not going to waste time with that block this time. Just run past those guys. Try to. Hoping they weren't going to fall on that block there with me. Didn't really seem like they would, but I don't really put anything past them. Okay, I can afford to take a hit at least. Okay. 
Another one down. Well, if I don't die too many times at the final area here, we might get through a world today. Might even get a chance to start the next one. Probably shouldn't get ahead of myself, though. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. What's he supposed to be there? Some kind of lizard, I guess? Like a dragon type thing? What do we got going on? Okay, these are the fire shooting ones again. Seems to be moving pretty slowly. Coins down below, but I kind of feel like I'd probably rather just stay up top if I can. That's fine. It's kind of tedious to try to do that anyway. Which way is this guy going to shoot? Maybe that one just doesn't shoot at all? Seems like a trap to me. Yeah, this moves so slow that it gave me enough time to get back over there for that. Didn't know if I'd make that jump up there or not. Didn't really seem like it, but... Yeah, I kind of thought that wasn't going to work out on timing with those two fires shooting out, so I thought I'd try to make a small jump there. Hey, they do give me a power up here, though, maybe. God, why is this world... Because I couldn't speak before I get the boss, but I was going to say, why was this world so much easier than World 3? Unless I'm just getting... Better, but even the boss is I mean I took the hit but he's at least not shooting the crap that keeps bouncing around the walls at you King. Oh, thank heavens. I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess. Not too creative on their dialogue in these older games. Greetings. The thief who stole the whistle has escaped to the east side of the sand dunes. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. Yeah, I think that's a... I think that's basically like saying that's a way to tell you that... And I thought it might have been, but I didn't want to waste it. I think back in World 2, the Desert World, there was a rock that you could have busted on, like, the upper right portion of the map. And if you did that, it would take you to uh, one of the mushroom shops that had another whistle. I don't know if there are more than three of them. Those are the three that I've known. I usually don't get that one because I usually get the first two in the world in World 1, and they take you pretty much to the end. As long as you beat World 1, and then whistle. Anyway, this, I think, World 5 is... Cloud World. If I remember right. Got a funky little tune going on here. Okay. Got some different guys here again. Pain chomps. Those guys will jump up at you when you try to go over them. Want to make sure you jump high enough to avoid them. Seem like too much of a problem so far. Oh, 
was hoping I wasn't falling off an edge there. Kind of seemed like it. Okay, that's the end already. Yep, one of those guys underneath. I'm a star, though. Got some steel drum going there, even. Alright, so, okay, we got an ice level here. I don't know where I need to go exactly, so let's try to hold off. See what happens if I go up here with these guys. I don't know if I know where this goes for sure. I think you normally would just go down, but it's probably just another way to go through it. Maybe this is like a shortcut. What do I want to use? Uh, the black background behind the boxes once you hit them. Just take me right to the end? Yeah, okay. Another star. Seems like some of these levels I just kind of cruise through them and then I get stuck on one for like five or six lives. Another Tanuki suit. Gonna be all I have in my inventory pretty soon. Oh, except for those music boxes and clouds that I never use. The P wings I'm hoarding. Alright, so we got a fortress there, or we have level three. Let's just do level three first, I think. Because the fortress is probably less likely to be benefited by a thief. Kinda going backwards here. I think if you have a flower, a flower, you can actually kill that Goomba, or maybe that's how. Yeah, you can, you can use this boot that he had on, which um, Toadstool told you about it in one of her letters, but it allows us to not take damage from these guys. Oh, give me that. I think if you get hit, it knocks you out of it. Otherwise, though, it seems like we're just keeping it. Um, I don't know if it'll go through here. Maybe. Yep. And there's another one if you needed it. Or wanted it. Don't need it to be this, but this makes it easier. I don't think you'll get hurt if you jump on those guys, either. I don't really feel like testing it right now, though. came up quickly. I think this is probably going to be the end anyway. Okay, yep. Hey, got five more. I got 57. At least as we go here, I'm kind of picking up enough extra lives to kind of make up for what I'm losing. Okay, got the memory game here, but it's going to be a new card now. Hey, got lucky right away. Hey. Okay. Well, that was actually pretty good for me. Um, let's try to get Hammer Bros. Got two of them here. Yeah, sorry, but I want to check all of these pretty much anyway. Every time I do one of these, just to make sure I'm not missing a power-up. Because they help so much. And another P-Wing. 
Normally I don't get that many P-Wings because I don't go through all of these worlds, so that's actually quite helpful. This is an easier one when they start on the top and middle. Yeah, most of these haven't had any power-ups. Pretty sure one towards the beginning of the game did though, so it kind of keeps me hopeful that there might be one. Try to get some more lives. Okay, I messed that one up. Knew it as soon as I hit it. Alright. I guess uh, next time I'm gonna... We're gonna go ahead and call it there for today, so... Next time I'll pick up and start out with the fortress. And then we'll go over to that other thing. Not exactly a castle, it's not a fortress, but... It is spiral shaped going up. So if, if you're not familiar with what that will do, we'll find out next time. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow, and we'll catch you next time.